Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. That is Deb Chanel's For This World. All right. I had lunch today. Yes, I did. I had lunch with a newcomer to the scene. And I'm going to tell you who they are in a few minutes after I get from um, letting y'all know what to do, what you should always do. And that's like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, yeah, subscribe, subscribe. Like, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Yep, like my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Speak, speak, speak. See, I tried to mix that on y'all. Okay, but basically, yes. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all of my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't tell you how much I appreciate you, okay? That you appreciate my dialogue. All right. But again, definitely hit the notification bell so you'll get notice of when I drop videos, okay? And definitely continue to subscribe, like, and share. Like, like, like. Subscribe, 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 and share my videos, okay? But let's get on into this. Like I said, I had a newcomer. I had lunch with them. They introduced themselves to me. They're called thethings.com. Yes, they're a new uh, blogging website out there that dishes on all the entertainment news, okay? Everybody trying to break into the show. <laughs> uh, putting their spin, putting out their articles on these celebrities, Doing all of this distasteful stuff. And it's like half the time I tell the people that come in under my videos, they do it to themselves. We just elevate the situation so a lot more people can understand what they're doing. But yet, they do it to themselves. Majority of the time, they leak their own tea on their own social media platforms, which is Twitter. We know Nene love that Twitter. We know we have Instagram. Kenya loves that Instagram child and Twitter. And we have Facebook, okay? Three different organizations doing the same thing, discussing media. But yet, people jump on me in my videos when I get on one of their faves. And I'm like, they, they do it to themselves. What part are you not understanding, okay? They put some out there. I rebuttal it if I so inclined to do so. And then sometimes I just let a lot of stuff just fly because it's like, oh, I can't believe they did that. Oh, make it make sense, Lord. Did they really say and do that? Oh, okay. I don't have the time. But I got time today. Oh, yeah, I got time today. More than likely this week, okay? But let's get on into what I'm trying to bring to you. The who, what, when, where, why, and lastly, how in the entertainment and celebrity world of living, okay? The individual I'm, I'm going to be talking about today is all of them are the franchise Bravo franchise of the housewives, okay? The whole entire franchise. And I was glad the things.com sat and had lunch with me and tried to tell me the, the ins and outs of being a housewife and what it takes to stay on there, the do's, the don'ts, and all that kind of stuff. And I never knew there was regulations up in there that they had to follow or they'll be quick fastening out the door. So, of course, you know I peaked your interest because, hell, it peaked my interest. I'm like, what? They got they really got rules and regulations? Yes, honey. They even titled the article as 18 Rules the Real Housewives of Atlanta Have to Follow in Order to Stay on the Show. Now, who would have known? Who would have known? I wouldn't have known unless it came across my media feed. Okay. So, I said, okay, let me talk about this. Let me talk about this because it's very intriguing. So why don't we get on into it? I already like them already because the first uh, name, the first name of this particular journalist who put out the article for things, the things dot com, her name is Lily. My deceased auntie name was Lily when she was here on this plane of earth on this existence. And I adore her greatly. OK, well, her name is Lily Williams. I'm like, what? Lily Williams? What? I like her, I like her, I like her already. Okay. She put out this story on September 7th, and it's under thethings.com. If you go under pop culture, you'll find the article and many other salacious articles just ready to uh, for you to sink your teeth into. But you, like I said, I only go to the ones that make me have that light bulb idea or it just comes across as an interesting article. I said, let me read this. But usually y'all know I don't read it until I'm with you all. But yet I read the title and I'm like, okay, 
Let me bookmark that because I'm about to come back and do some commentary on it. All right. So here we are. And let's get on into it. Okay. Won't tarry too long. Okay. Title reads 18 Rules the Real Housewives Have to Follow to Stay on the Show. Written by Lily Williams. Published on September 7th. Okay. It goes on to say in more than a decade and across nine cities, the Real Housewives franchises have brought the drama and made Bravo the headquarters of reality television. Okay. Between the wigs, the thrown drinks, and the taglines, each franchise has become must-see TV. And the household, I'm sorry, the housewives have become household names. Viewers like or love to watch Vicky speak her truth in the OC, Orange County. Real Housewives, okay? Nene keeps the ladies in Atlanta in line. Teresa deal with her family drama in New Jersey. And Bethany and Luann Bicker in New York. The reunions might make it look like anything goes, but the women do have a few rules they have to keep to they have to keep in order to keep their peach and live fans coming okay and leave fans coming back for more okay those contracts can get pretty specific since it can take a lot for mr andy cohen to keep the big personalities in line here are 18 rules the real housewives of atlantis and other um states out there that they got have to follow in order to stay on the show okay we're gonna go into number 18 it says their hairstyle is in the contract. Okay. Yep. That means all them weaves, all them weaves, all them extensions that's built into their contract. All right. It goes on to say the hairstyle isn't lying out in the contract, but there are some stipulations that the housewives have to keep in mind. They love a makeover, but the contract is picking to point out that they can't go for a major revision mid-season. Okay, they can't go change up their looks if they wanted to. Okay, it's in the contract. They can't do it. No, no. This probably helps with reshoots. Yes, they happen, and we'll get to that later. And if they choose to air things out of chronological order. Okay, number 17, no privacy guaranteed. Now, y'all know we had that little debacle meant when Nene having them cameramans approach her and her closed off closet okay but they didn't get the point we know she had to put some little hands on them allegedly but we know what really went down those who can see and those who can really hear okay but anyway they said no privacy that was number 17 guaranteed everyone wants a little bit of privacy even if they sign up for a reality tv show but the ladies of the real housewives franchise don't get any promise that they can keep things to themselves Things like their kids and their closets are fair game per the contract. See that? When you sign your soul over to the devil's entertainment world, you don't have no peace. No peace in the camp. No peace in the camp. But see, like I said, it's a choice. These women don't have to go up here and do all this stuff, but they do it anyway because they want to be entrepreneurs. They want to be in mindless drama. Therefore, they have to follow the rules. Did y'all know there were rules to being a housewife? Child, well, I'm giving them to you. There's 18. I'm on number 17. Okay. They said, well, let me read that once again. Things like their kids and their closets are fair game. Per the contract. See what I'm saying? The contract in the entertainment business. Say so. You don't know what's going to come up next. Okay. But anyway, it goes on to say, in fact, Nene got so mad about it that she was caught accosting a cameraman who was heading towards that room where she keeps her clothes. Okay. Now, what was going on in that closet? We still don't know. But hey, I bet that cameraman got paid with that missing tooth. Oh, yes, he did. I know he did. Okay. Going to 16. Rule number 16. They will work around prison time. <laughs> Lord have mercy. They'll wait for you to come out of your prison term. And if they could, they would film you inside the prison. But we know that's a no-no. But getting back to the article, number 16, they will work around prison time. In many professions, when you get convicted of a felony, you lose your job. But that's not true for housewives. The producers even film around prison time. It worked out for Teresa Gudens. 
and Luann de la Passis or something like that. Rich, Kim Richards had a run in with the law too. Although it wasn't as much as a big deal on the show, Teresa and her husband show legal woes have been a major storyline for several seasons. <laughs> okay. These Italian folks and in uh I don't know how Bronx, New York. New Yorkers getting locked up. And they ain't black, y'all. Ain't that a trip? That's a trip. Because you look the black folk, right? But no, these black folks in Atlanta, on Housewives of Atlanta, they ain't got no time for that. <laughs> they said they cannot do the time, so they not going to do the crime. Okay. Woo. That's that's what up on them Housewives. Okay. But anyway, for Atlanta anyway, going to number 15. It says, don't mess with the OGs. Yeah, and I showed y'all a little picture of the OGs they had for each representation of each housewives in each state that they have a real housewives, okay? And we already done claimed the fame, self-proclaimed Nene Leakes as an OG. She the HBIC. Tidy wouldn't give it to her. She self-proclaimed it, and we just went with it, okay? Because nobody else want to tackle her for the crown. They ain't want to tackle her yet, all right? But under the article, it says number 15 is don't mess with the OGs. There is an understated rule among all of the housewives. Don't mess with the OGs. There is one major player in each franchise whose popularity has stood the test of time. And they have a surprisingly amount of sway on the casting. Now, you know, they were saying, especially Miss HBIC, Nene Lee said, I don't have that much pool. Y'all give me that much credit. Dee, 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 dee. Well, it's true. It's in black and white. It's on the things.com. Okay. Have to be reputable. We call it reputable because if not, it will be some lawsuits swinging around here. Okay. So they just can't print in and everything and go all willy nilly trying to put it out there for the public consumption. So see what I'm saying? Yes. Nene lied when she said, Oh, I don't I can't tell people. I can't hire and fire people. I, I no, baby, yes, you can. You put your input in when you try to get rid of Cynthia and Kenya and anybody else that posed a threat to your little behind. See how things done in the dark will come to light. Ah Anyway, moving on. Okay, going back to that. It says Nene is the queen bee from Atlanta and Vicky rules the roost in the OC. Okay, and it has even had the OGs organize his baby shower. They definitely earn their status and wield their power when they have to. Okay, number 14 says the husbands come and go. <laughs> okay, let's read that again. Number 14. On the rules and regulations, the husbands come and go. While the housewives are pretty stable, their men are like a big revolving door. In fact, sometimes the men go from one housewife to another. Take Slade, for example. He started off with Joe and then dated another cast member before settling down with Gretchen. The partners don't always get the attention, but they are still a part of the drama. Okay, that's a white thing. Because <laughs> she ain't coming up with the Real Housewives of Atlanta. How about you finna shack up with somebody's best friend on the platform or co-worker, how Nene put it. That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> we gonna see misdemeanors, felony charges, assaults. All of them gonna be up in the Fulton County or the Cap County Jailhouse, okay? With no bonds pending. <laughs> Ain't nobody getting up out of there. Okay, so that, that happened in the white world. It don't happen up here in Atlanta with the OGs, them black females up there. Nah, they ain't finna have all that wife swapping or uh, husband swapping. Nah, we ain't finna get down like that. Okay, anyway, we're going to number 13. It says, Glam Spa is at the housewife's expense. So as we thought that they were uh, basically, when they do all this getting beat and, and looking great on camera because the makeup are just uh, fabulous. It's a work of art. Sometimes they have to pay out of pocket to get all those good looks. So it says Glam Squad is at the housewife's expense. Housewives have to look good, but, they're, but that doesn't mean that Bravo fits the entire Glam Squad bill. We certainly, we are certain that the, house, the ladies get a stipend for hair and makeup especially for the reunion shows, and they often get to borrow some luxury dresses for the specials, okay? So, see, they weren't even buying them dresses. See? See how they caught up on game? No. The studio was giving them, letting them borrow, okay? Like, we want y'all to take care of them. Don't get up there and get to fighting these dresses and rip, because y'all going to be 
owning them. Okay, it's gonna come out your paycheck. Well, Andy probably told them, or somebody on the executive executive team showed them, had them sign off. So if they get in any infraction, infra, uh, infraction or any infringement on the show, then guess what? <laughs> you don't bought that whole attire. Okay, lock, stock, and barrel. Whether it was new, whether it was used, or whatever, you don't bought it. Okay. So uh, we go on to say they they borrow luxury dresses for the special, but many of the ladies take their glam to a whole new level. Erica Jane spends more on glam in a month than some people make in a year. Hoo wee! Must be one of them Beverly Hills chicks, okay? According to people, and she has to pick up a lot of those costs on her own, okay? Number twelve, no lawsuits among housewives. Now ain't that a blip? We were just talking about Candy and Phaedra, weren't we? We were just talking about them. How they were getting along, why they can't get along, and why Phaedra won't be back, okay? Um, so that's why no lawsuits pended on Miss Phaedra. Because in the contracts, okay, for number 12, no lawsuits among housewives. Hey, that's something else. Let's go on and get into this article on the back little segment, okay? It says the fights that break out over a season of a housewives franchise are dramatic. But they would never wind up in court, even though we know more than one lawyer has been has been won the receiving end. Reportedly, the housewives contract stipulates that they can hash things out on screen, but not in a court of law. That's what that's what the article read. That's what they said in black and white. Uh, because the lawsuits between cast members are forbidden in the contract. See that? That's why Candy couldn't sue Pedro. She couldn't. She wanted to, but now we see why. Okay, boy, that's a lot of good tips, ain't it? That's a lot of good tips. Y'all better be writing them down or come back and reference this video when the Housewives get started for season 12, okay? The things they can and cannot do, okay? Rules and regulations. Rules and regulations. You gotta have them or we'll have total chaos out there in them streets, okay? But anyway, we're gonna move to number 11. It says separation before the reunion show. The drama goes next level whenever the Housewives air a reunion episode. To drive up the drama, producers make a rule to keep the women separated while they prepare for the big event. They probably put a few bugs in the women's ears, too, about some of the slights that happen in the months preceding the event. See that? They be charging them up. All right? They be charging, putting batteries in their back. Charging them up back the food. Okay, because they don't be knowing. See, they don't be knowing this extra stuff. They went to the reunion, come and say, did you know can you say this about you? Do you know she did this? Nina, behind your back. Girl, let me tell you about Portia. Let me tell you about what Portia said about Tanya and Marlo. Girl, you, you might want to address this when you get on the show and we be taping live. Can you do it for us? Can you bring the drama, baby? <laughs> See, that's what they probably were telling them for. Oh, I tell you, them executives ain't worth shit. Better. Okay, then we go on number 10. It says your friends aren't guaranteed a spot. Okay, okay, let's read about these friends here. Um, the cast of the Real Housewives franchise have changed over the years, and many times the friends are the ones who are chosen to take any spot that opens up. While many times the friends are spotted in scenes here and there, that doesn't mean that they are guaranteed a spot. According to reports, they still have to go through the casting process and submit some tapes and go to the auditions. Okay. Number nine, it says it's hard to say no to the group trips. Okay. Let's talk about these trips that they be going on. Then Nene and, and, and Candy and, and, and uh, Eva and all these other people don't throw out. Throughout the seasons, but let's take a trip. I, I, I'm gonna organize a trip. I'm gonna I'm gonna pay for the majority of it. But y'all come on with me, okay? Let's go and see what they say about these trips, okay? There are two big events that usually bring the drama each season. Before the reunion show, things usually take a few twists during a big girls trip. We know about them girls trips, right? Everybody want to take one every season, okay? But who's paying for it? Let's see who is really paying for it, okay? It wasn't a big deal when the Queen Lisa Vanderpump stayed home. But Kim Zosiak caused a lot of issues when she refused to go on a trip with the Atlanta cast. And it wasn't long before she was an ex-cast member. 
<laughs> okay? So that's the thing. You must go on these trips. I don't know why they didn't drop the tea or who really paying for them. But okay, I see they want to keep that little hush hush. But okay. Moving to number eight, family drama comes full circle. Frenemies aren't enough for the drama of a Real Housewives franchise. They make sure that the family connections keep people on edge. Kim and Kylie Richards can bring the skeleton out, but nothing takes the cake like Teresa and her brother Joe. Their family issues are just part of the plot line of this franchise. See, they have a storyline, and they just really admit it to us. It's scripted in some ways, shapes, and forms, and fashions, okay? Number seven, be available for reshoots. Of course, all of our reality show dreams have been debunked by uh, many shows, and that's true of the Housewives as well. According to 2013 reports, the Real Housewives of New York were spotted staging shots and doing reshoots while they were in Southampton. We think that the most authentic moments were probably the ones that came up on their own. The Housewives aren't the best of actresses with the except of a few screen stars on Beverly Hills. <laughs> so look at that. Bravo trying to nice, nasty shade they own franchise of women, okay? They saying housewives aren't the best of actresses. Wee, Nene, what they saying about you, girl? What are they saying? Moving on. Okay, number six, they have to chip in for travel. Let's see, that's what I'm talking about. They didn't give it to me. And what do you call it? The, the uh, number uh, nine, we just said it's hard to say no to group trips. But okay. Uh, full circle, we're coming about the pay now. Who really paying for this stuff, okay? They have to chip in for travel, okay? Barbara saying we ain't putting all that bill. We gonna take it out of y'all. We paying y'all a good penny, okay? They said the Real Housewives love to travel and big girl trips can be a part of the plot for each season. But all expenses aren't paid. Mm -mm, no, they're not. Don't get us wrong. Barbara pays a big part of the bill, but the producer set a budget for a high-class trip and some of the richest other women decide to pay extra for some major upgrades. These ladies suspect a certain level of class and they will pay more to get what they want. So see, they might be on a budget economy type scenes when they go out to these big old hotels and, and, and places uh, in each country or state. They just do the very minimal to get them there. <laughs> but if they wanted to show like they... uh. They the it girl or the it woman around now. They had to pay for all those suited up upgrades. Okay, so we, they still didn't really give us that much tea. But at least they put a bug in our ear that they ain't that stupid. Okay, then it says uh, number five. Don't have to be a wife to be a, a housewife. Well, we already know that. But let's get on into the article and see what they said about it. The Real Housewives show doesn't focus on a on women who are married and stay at home with the kids. In fact, many of the most popular castmates weren't married, at least at some point in the show's history. U.S. Weekly did a count, and as of September 2018, a total of 33 Real Housewives couples have filed for divorce at the parent on the show. That includes Nene and her husband, Greg, who reconciled. You know, I think it all was the show. They weren't going nowhere. Don't nobody want Greg. Don't nobody want Nene. They want each other, okay? They were trying to get out some tax problems okay tax lien problems that's just my take my spiel my insight on it not written in this article okay allegedly so uh so there are still some couples that have stood firm firm through the franchise number four no party crashing the housewives have had their share of bad moves and dramas uh, which usually help the franchise alone but one party crash ruined everything for dc franchise um, Michelle, uh, Michaela, and Tyreek Sol Sahali crashed a White House event that weren't they weren't invited to, and their controversy torpedoed the entire series. Bravo went on to have success with the latest of Potomac, uh, Potomac, Potomac, or whatever. But they definitely got uh, Platomic. But they definitely got warned about party crashing. Okay, yeah, that was a big deal. That was when I think Obama was in office, President Obama. <laughs> okay, you ain't going to go up into nothing like that. But anyway, they did party crash. They got through all the security that was there. They faked the phone. But they probably got a little, uh, you know, hand clap because, you know, you know. But anyway, moving on to number three, it says, and it gets final approval, okay? While the Housewives franchises have made a lot of people famous, this is there is one person behind the scenes who has 
also been catapulted to fame and power. Andy Cohen, the show's executive producer, went from a behind-the-scenes TV exec to a major star when he began hosting the reunion shows. Now he talks about his ladies weekly on Watch What Happened Lives, and he's all over the place doing tours, writing books, and living his best life while continuing to control the shots on the Real Housewives of Atlanta or Real Housewives shows, okay? Number two, you can come back, maybe, okay? Because we still want Faye to come back, but that's still a big-ass question mark, and legalities are lingering, so I don't think that's going to be a do. But anyway, it says, sometimes we're excited to see cast members go, but sometimes our favorite steps back from the franchise. The good thing is that just because a housewife is out for a season doesn't mean that it's a final goodbye. Nene and Bethany came back, and we've even seen Jill and Camille here and there. That gives us hope that we will still have some scenes to come with the Queen Lisa Vanderpump. Okay? And the number one things you must do to be in to be still in good um good graces uh within the uh housewives franchise it says you must sell those taglines okay our biggest memories of the housewives came in the form of taglines the phrases that live in bravo lore and get played over and over again in commercials and more importantly in memes according to an executive producer quoted in daily clutch the ladies don't come up with their sayings on their own. It's something that the producers discuss and the housewives have to sell them. So basically what you're saying, Andy Cohen and those other uh, producers are making up y'all tag lines and y'all have to sell them to yourselves and other to sell it to us, the consumer, <laughs> and see whether we buy it or not. And see, I thought they made up their own tag lines. I tell you, this was very educational and informative. For the ones that love to watch the different housewives platforms. Okay. And I gave y'all a list throughout my videos of the platforms uh, where they're hosting the Real Housewives in the certain states. Okay. But I hope y'all enjoyed this. I didn't want to go 30 minutes, but it's just so much information. And now all of it makes sense. Why they do certain things and why they don't do certain things. And they make sure they do them so they can continue to get that paycheck. Okay, that paycheck that they need. All right, that platform that they still need to be vital in and stay relevant out there. Okay, and what better household name than the Bravo? <laughs> the Bravo family. Ain't none of them trying to leave. Given a choice, a circumstance, if they were asked, do you want to come back next season? Nine times out of 10, 99.9, .9, they will say, yes, where's the contract? I got my pen. <laughs> and then they just sign their life away to total mindless drama. Okay, so you can't hate them. We love the mindless drama. We partake in it. And I go a step further. If I see one of the housewives stepping out, doing some ridiculous stuff, that's probably not a part of their contract. They just think they have an it factor. I will come in, swoop up, and put my commentary to a video and break it out for y'all to view. You know I get down. Yes, you do. Okay, that's all I have. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'll be back with something else. You know I will. Bye-bye.